Good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. If you guys are new around here, my name is Blaine Evans and this is Trucking Life. So on this load, I haven't made a video here for about a week or so. I made the repairing a tarp video. It was the last video I uploaded and I, I did one for another load after that, but it was kind of just the same insulation board and loads I've done before, so I ended up not putting that one up, but this one. I am currently in Portland, Oregon, delivering at a cemetery. So, and I am hauling, they are called columbariums. And so I figured that's not something people haul on a daily basis that I know of, so, but here's the BOL. There's the address that I'm at. Construction entrance at a uh, Metcalf Mortuary or Metcalf uh, Cemetery. But as you can see right there, that's what they're called, columbariums. And so they are actually, if you can see the line of cement columns right there, there's a line back there, there's another line over here, there's one right there. So. I'll get out and show you on my trailer but they were very specific about how they wanted these things loaded and how they wanted them strapped so that they do not get cracked or broke because these are actually all those little cubbies if you guys can see so it's a wall of them but they have little cubbies and each one of those little cubbies like when you have a loved one cremated and I guess when you don't want them on your mantle at home or whatnot, you can get one of these little cubbies. I'm, that's probably not the right term to be using, but, but in this columbarium, and then essentially you stick the urn in there. They're just big enough for an urn. So, and I'll get out and show you the ones on my truck. I'm just waiting to unstrap. There's a guy here in front of me in it. He's hauling um, the tops, I guess. So on the top of the wall, there's these little flat things. All these pallets right here are what's going on the top of the wall there. And so that's what that little crane right here is doing. Is he's lifting up these flat pieces that are going on top of the columbariums, which is what I'm hauling. So I'll get out and just show you guys. So. I just got here, it came up some windy little road that was a pain in my ass. I had to have my flashers on and go up this windy road that I couldn't stay in one lane even if I wanted to. But anyways, here you guys go. So these are the columbariums. So, it's, so when you have a loved one that gets cremated, you put them in an urn, you can essentially get one of these little boxes and then you'd stick the urn inside there and then that's where they would spend their time from there on out. But it's kind of been a pain in the butt load to be honest. So I put two straps on each one. There's two of them per pallet. And so I put two straps, but they were very particular about making sure that your straps go over these posts because this is just like a, a concrete mixture. And so they didn't want your strap to be in the middle of one of the boxes because if so it will crack the top and so like some of them are kind of wonky on how I had to throw the strap like this one you know I had to wrap it around the outside and then hook it to the rail to get it to go over the right but as you can see look how bad that one's twisted so this pallet that's from the wind catching the boxes and I stopped and fixed it what, twice on the way up here and the wind just catches in these boxes and it just turns these pallets so and these I mean these straps are tight they're not loose by any means I mean I can't even move that one but as you can see you know this one's twisted a little bit this one's twisted four or five inches you know they're all got a little twist in them and then this back one that was catching a lot of the wind you know it's like that front one 
and so it's twisted as well but I mean the straps are all tight so and this one's actually twisted to where the strap came over a little bit but I've been keeping an eye on that make sure it's not cracking this one but but yeah guys so there's some vaults I imagine for looks like you know spouses to be buried side by side but but this is what we're hauling so corner protectors on the top two straps on each one on the way up here you can tell like the road was so sharp that this tire went into the bushes for a second but but yeah that's what we're hauling so we're going to sit here and undo a few of the straps and then uh wait for our turn to get unloaded but with that being said i will leave you guys for a second with that and then once we're unloaded here we're going to head up to woodland washington and there's a load of uh of scaffolding that's going to go down to park city utah so i'll see you guys here in a minute well we are done getting unloaded at the cemetery well let's it's an addition to an existing cemetery. I hope you guys can see, hear, hear me alright. I just left the GoPro on the dash while I maneuver around here. But, as you can see, there's all kinds of new vaults they're burying in the ground. And then, the ones that call them bariums or whatever I called them earlier that you would put your urns in which is right there in front of me but all off to the right hand side they're putting in new burial plots and off to the left hand side it's all the ones for the urns so not a bad place to be laid to rest if you live around Portland, Oregon. Really nice soon to be addition to a cemetery. Anyways guys, we are out of here. We are going to head up to Woodland. Uh, Woodland, Washington, which is about 30 miles from where I'm at right now. Go up there, pick up some scaffolding. And then we'll head back towards Utah because I am moving into my new place this weekend. So I have to be back on Friday. But that being said, I will see you guys here in a little bit when we get up to uh, Woodland, Washington. So, I just made it up to Woodland, Oregon. Um, as you've seen, we left the cemetery down there in Portland. It's kind of a cool spot for a cemetery. Driving up in there, though, the road that the freaking GPS took me, even my truck GPS, was so sharp of corners that I couldn't keep my damn truck and trailer on one side of the road. But, anyways... So now I'm up in Woodland, Washington. I'm gonna get loaded here and we'll head back towards Utah, but I will put that on the next video because like I said before, I'm gonna try to keep um, what I'm hauling separate videos. That way we're not trying to put two different uh, loads in one video. So one thing I found out when um, hauling those Column barium, column barium. Yeah, that's what it was called, right? Sorry, that's just a weird word to say. But when hauling those, um, one thing I found out is I hauled them from Colorado Spring, not Colorado Springs, God, Decano, Colorado, up here to Portland, Oregon. Well, I'm in Woodland, Oregon right now, as you'll see, but, um, one thing that I learned with those, though, is you definitely want to do two straps, and then, as you've seen, I threw the corner protectors.
but where the wind catches those things so bad, um, I would highly recommend, you know, either, either having like hammer and nails on your truck to where you can nail the base of that, uh, the crate or pallet, if you would, that they're setting on, nail that into your trailer so that they won't turn. Um, that or maybe throwing some straps down low um, to keep them from turning so much but with just the two straps that went up over the top it just wasn't enough to keep them from turning and uh, you know they were tight enough and they weren't going to go anywhere I wasn't worried about them falling off or anything it was just more annoying than than anything to sit there and see them turned out your mirror because you know you're constantly checking on your load and your straps and I mean they weren't going to go anywhere it was just like I said it was just kind of annoying that that the wind grabbed a hold of them and turned them and so if I ever do haul them again I will definitely be strapping them a little bit different and uh that or seeing if they have some little two by fours or something that I can nail down to the uh, to my trailer to the two by sixes that run up and down my trailer that way it holds them in place because it would definitely It would definitely make you feel more secure while hauling those so so that's something I'm going to look into I will look into getting me a, a Framing hammer and then some longer nails just in case I ever need to to secure something like that so but that's something to keep in mind. But with that being said, guys, I appreciate everybody for watching. Please browse the channel and subscribe. It's always appreciated. If you ever have any questions, comments, concerns, just feel free to ask. So I will see you guys here on the next video.